Hello watchers, today we will be taking a look at side chaining and how you can use this to do a voiceover kind of thing where you duck away your music or whichever audio to make room for your voice so that you don't clash when mixing voice and music or whatever else you're actually dubbing over a game that you're actually playing and you want to comment over it, whatever else you can think of. Side chaining is an easy way to do this and I will be demonstrating this in this video. No further talking, we're diving right into the action. First, let's get the specifics out of the way and give you an overview of what we need to do. It is called side chaining because we are chaining multiple tracks together to achieve a certain result. And we are talking about side chaining specifically because we are not chaining them directly to each other, like feeding one track directly into the other and basically summing up the two sources. But we are fading the two channels from one track into two auxiliary channels from the other track which just get used to control the intensity of the compressor that we are going to use to compress the music so that our voice has room to actually come through. And if all of this doesn't make any sense to you, then stay tuned in. We will go through the entire process step by step right now. So first of all, we need a track with some music on it. So we are going to create a track called Music. Track name. And I'm going to really quickly import my interesting in here. So here we are. You know, the drill. So we also will need a track which is meant to hold my voice. So let's create one. Here we are. Let's record a little demonstration recording. This is a little test recording so that we can demonstrate the, the usage of side chaining. So here we go. This is a little test recording so that we can demonstrate the There you go. It's totally covered up by the music, right? So what do we need to do? Step one, as I've already told you, we need to have not two, but four channels on our music track. So if you're confused by the concept of channels, what you usually hear is a stereo track with two separate channels, one for the left and one for the right audio data. And thanks to our ears being two receivers, we can compute all the stuff that we can hear out of two separate sources, two channels, so to speak. And although we still just want to hear two of them, we need for in this case, just to make sure that our compressor can work with the voice without us actually hearing the voice, because otherwise we would mix them together and that would just sound bad. I will demonstrate this in just a second. Let's just extend our first track, our music track, one music, one item. to have four instead of two channels. Let's press I. Routing for track one music dialogue. Let's tap a few times. And with Track channels. Combo box two collapsed. There we go. Let's press down arrow. Four. Here we go. We have now four channels. Let us continue by creating a receive from our music track to our voice track. Here is all you need to know about receives and sends. They are both basically the same depending on which position you're in and how you're looking at it. A receive is nothing else than a digital audio cable or even a physical audio cable if you're working with actual cables that receives a signal from a specific source. A send, then again, is the exact same cable, but this time you're looking from the perspective of the sending track, so you're sending away some data to a certain receiver. So send and receive are basically the same depending on the way you look at it. We need to create a receive. The music track needs to receive something from the voice track or the other way around. We need to create a send from the voice track to the music track. And we are going to do this via the routing dialog because we are already within the routing dialog. So let's tap a few times more. 
track volume, fade track and fade slide track with fade slide media playback off send combo box add audio hardware out, MIDI hardware output combo box send to a read receive combo box add new receive collapsed. Here we go. And what we need to do is we need to press the down arrow. Two. Voice. And we just need to stay on this for just about a second and Reaper will automatically detect that we didn't move the cursor anymore and create a new receive for us. Let's now tab. Receive from track to voice. Delete button. There it is. And we will just keep it like that and have a little demonstration in just a second. Let's escape out of this project repo, and create a compressor on our music track. We can use Recomp for this because it's the Reaper stock plugin, it's free and it does the job perfectly. Add effects to track one music dialogue filter. Let's type Recomp R E A C O M P. There you go. List one VST. Let's instantiate F that and pick a preset. I'm going to pick stock aggressive vocal. That's going to be fine. Let's escape. Unsafe. And play. This is a little test recording so that we can demonstrate the usage of sidechain. As you've heard, the voice was more audible than before. But it's still not doing what we want, right? We don't hear any compression yet. It's not actually ducking away when the voice comes through. And that is because we haven't routed the channels correctly yet. Right now, our voice is going to channel 1 and 2 and it's getting compressed a bit with the aggressive vocal compressor on our music track as well, which is not what we want. We need to change this by changing the channels our voice is going to. It's not meant to go to channel one and two, it's meant to go to channel three and four, which is why we actually extended the channels on the music track from two to four in the first place. So let's press I. Routing for track one music dialogue. And let's press tab a few times. And with track, 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 media, play, sense, audio, media, combo, receive, call, receive from track to voice, delete button. Here we go. And let's press context menu to that. Context menu, menu. Let's press down. MIDI volume slash pan N, envelopes and automation E, mute N, face slash pull and mono N, destination audio channel 1 slash 2D. There we go. Let's press enter on that. Context menu, menu. And now we can select the channels where this receive is going to. 1 slash 2 check 1. 1 and 2 is checked by default. Two slash three two. No, we don't want 2, 3. three, slash four, three. We want 3, 4. Let's check that. And let's escape out of that. Unsafe. It's worth mentioning that you can do this in one go. After extending the channels from 2 to 4, you can continue to tab, create a receive, and right afterwards, tap once, hit context menu, and do this setting. But I wanted to demonstrate it to you just really quickly here. So... If you're more experienced and fluent in what you're doing, then just do it in one go and you're much quicker. Now, let's see what happens. Let's play this. This is a little test. It's still not working, right? So what's wrong here? It's actually correctly routed, but a compressor is not yet reacting to channel 3 and 4, but to channel 1 and 2. Now, that's not what we want. We actually want it to react to channel 3 and 4. So let's press F on the music track again. FX. Track one music dialogue DPMS attack. And now let's shift tab a few times. Remove but add button. Zero auto make preview field edit select try. Try slider wet slider output mix rate comp edit select RMS edit select hippos slide edit select low pass detector input. Combo box main inputs collapsed. And that is where we want to be. Let's press down. Auxiliary inputs. Auxiliary inputs is what we want. Now let's escape out of that. Unsaved project. And press play again. This is a little test. Still not actually doing what you want, but this is because my voice is just too quiet. Let's boost it a bit. Let's press down. And let's use all shift up arrow a few times. And let's play again. This is a little test recording so that we can demonstrate the usage of sidechain. Okay, we were able to hear some compression now, but it's not yet enough because our threshold for the voice is still set to a value that doesn't actually fit my voice recording level. So let's go up to music. One music one item. Let's press P. FX parameters dialog minor. And there we go. First parameter is threshold. Let's tap once. Value. Slider minus 21.7 dB. So that's the threshold. Let's set it to a totally incredible low value. Let's, minus 27 minus. let's set it to minus 52.1 decibels. Let's escape out of this and play with spacebar. 
This is a little test recording so that we can demonstrate the, the usage of sidechaining. There you go, it's worked, right? You obviously have an aggressive vocal compressor here, which means that it's really aggressive, means the release is set to a really low value, it's gonna pump in and out really, really fast for voiceover work or audio ducking when you're actually talking and you don't want the game audio to be too loud or whatever else you can think of, you probably want to, the release value to be set to a much higher value. But this is a differing topic. This is actually something that is related to how compressors work and how you can control compressors to do what you want them to do and not related to how side chaining works and how you can actually create a voiceover kind of effect. So if you want to know more about compressors in general, then let me know in the comment section below the video and I will consider creating a video about that topic as well. Also, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and I promise I will give you more interesting and informative videos in the future. Follow me on Twitter and let me know that you're there, like the video, and you know what? Even if you don't want to see a video on compressors, write a comment down in the comment section below the video. Anyway, it really helps the YouTube algorithm and it really motivates me a lot to see that you actually enjoyed my content or didn't enjoy my content. Doesn't matter, just let me know. You can also tell me what I should improve in the future. I really like to hear from you no matter what. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. Bye bye.